dances and then we were dancing and singing and moving to the roof and it just when it hit me somebody turned around and shouted play the funk and music white boy Woo yeah good boy what a dancer Full name is Joel Cornwell. I was born in 1961, which makes me about 53 years old. I started collecting fruit and veggies from the markets, talking to different um, uh, venue people, and they donate the stuff to us. Then I find different soup kitchens and um, rescue places where I can do food hampers and stuff like that. If they put it out on the shelf in the shop, it's got to last over a week. So basically what they want to do is um, instead of waiting for someone to buy it and then it goes rotten and they have to throw it away, they give it to me because I'm, they know there's about a week, weeks left in it and our soup kitchens are happening on a daily basis so the stuff can be processed straight away and moved out and frozen or, or cooked up and, and preserved. Nowadays they, what they do is they give it to me well before um, it becomes waste. Um, knowing that it's going to the good cause and um, knowing that we don't sell it so it's donated to us and knowing that it goes to um, the people that really, really need it. If the beasts don't eat it, I don't feed it to the humans, this bottom line, eh? And of course he's investigating just to make sure he's a quality control officer, that one. And this generally goes out to um, Lake Road, uh, the uh, Church of Christ out there in um, Kelmscott and they have around about 350 people so they'll process this and have that ready for their soup kitchens. I come from an era where we don't grow up, um, we're from the 60s so we're not quite hippies but we're also very um, connected with um, earth and um, the way things work in nature. I went to see at 16, bought my house at 18. I got everything I needed and um, anything I wanted, I had to work for. And had all the money in the world, but um, at the end of the day, I'm broken. Um, both wrists are now totally fused and I've had a few other operations that have been me not being able to um, fulfill uh, the work that um, I was educated to be able to do. I'm on a disability pension, I don't have to do anything. I, I can just go to food vouchers and sit on my ass and, and get drunk every day or do whatever and nothing. But um, I choose to do this and I have two beautiful volunteers, Dawn and, and Minnie Ann, and we, we feed up to 2,000 people a week for free. I had two breakdowns. Uh, two nervous breakdowns. Um, black dog came up and bit me on the ass, and um, I fell over. I call it falling over, and um, because of, of the spirit that my parents gave me of, of um, standing up and uh, against adversities, etc., etc., um, and and you can you can do it if you try hard enough. So I don't have that problem anymore and it was the birds that actually gave me the purpose to live. Otherwise, um, basically, you, you're looking at a statistic. Um, I would have topped myself ages ago um, because of, of, I didn't feel like I was worthy. I, um, everything just went to pair and I was unwanted, unworthy. Um, there was nowhere in society, so I, I created that to save myself. Other people could turn to alcohol, other people turn to religion, I use the parrots as my crutch, so um, for me to get up every morning and to feed them and all that gave me a purpose because they were living creatures and I need to look after them and which gave me the purpose to be where I'm at today, um, surviving. Basically I saw it as uh, the birds, if I displayed them at the Canning Bar Market and people supported us, and then I could use that with fuel in my own personal car to go out and feeding people. So it's actually the parrots that are actually feeding the people, not the people feeding the parrots. 
So I've just reversed it. Um, I, I see a different understanding of, of how to do things. I don't look this way, I look that way, and which has given me the power to be able to um, do things that most people couldn't, could see as um, impossible to do. So I'm the octopus, and um, the octopus has many tentacles, so I'll, I'll give you um, a couple of hundred kilos, and then you find someone that gives them a hundred kilos, which signs someone, and so the octopus spreads its tentacles out there, and this is a big sharing circle that we have. And, and it's being able, the power to share is, is actually um, a very powerful thing where people feel self-worth, self-wanted, and also um, that, that you can do that and you feel so good about doing it. And it's got nothing to do with money. It's got nothing to do with money at all. It's actually just being able to share. I want people to share, so I'll actually give you more than you need and I'll, I'll empower you to share that with somebody else. And when you do that, you have this beautiful feeling of being able to share, which is what we're missing in community, is that we don't know how to share, we don't know how to be community, and we don't know how to work together. We're all one, and we all need to eat, and we've got to learn to do that. I think the power of giving um, is actually a, a power that just, um, is awe inspiring you can't you can't pay for it you can't buy it and um, the richest man I know um, is the one who has the most respect not the most money and that's bottom line